So who's in, who's out? The conservative leadership race is getting underway. We know the rules, a $200,000 deposit just to get in. That's a little bit steep. You'll have to do more than return your beer bottle empties and uh, check the couch cushions for change to be able to pay for that. You've also got to be able to get 3,000 signatures from a multitude of ridings, from a multitude of provinces, and from members. They have to be members that are willing to sign your nomination. So that's going to exclude people who are what you might call tourists in the race. But who's in, who's out, who might be in, and that still remains a big question. We know the Conservative MP Marilyn Gladue is in. Now, she doesn't have a lot of profile. She is you know, second time MP. She is someone that is going to be raising her profile, but a big question is, will she be able to meet this threshold, the $200,000, the 3,000 signatures? She does present well, she does speak well, she answers questions clearly when asked them, but will she be able to get the organization? Because this is going to become all about ground game. Speaking of that, we know that Aaron O'Toole and Pierre Polyev are both in. These are two former Harper era cabinet ministers. Now, Aaron O'Toole ran last time. He came third in the conservative leadership race. You remember it went Andrew Scheer, Maxime Bernier, Aaron O'Toole. So he is a natural to go in, ramp up the organization from before. But some people that were backing him last time, such as Jenny Byrne, are now backing Pierre Polyev, who has his own way of going about this leadership. He's got major people in the party saying he's the guy to beat. What are the, the options for the two of them? Well, O'Toole's going to try and portray himself as more of the centrist candidate within the party, and Pierre Polyev is trying to portray himself as the only true blue conservative, conservative on all levels. That could alienate some voters, but that's going to be his pitch to win the leadership. But now to the unknown factors. Is Rana Ambrose in? Is Jean Charest in? Is Peter McKay in? These are three of the big unknowns. I would be willing to say that Peter McKay is likely 100% in, but hasn't declared yet. Expect that to come soon. He used to head up the Progressive Conservative Party before it merged with the Canadian Alliance. He was top cabinet minister for Stephen Harper for close to a decade. So this guy carries heft within the party. Then comes the question, what about Rana Ambrose? She's the one that people keep saying, if she's in, I'll back them. You know, everyone loves to do their mother test. What does my ma say? Well, my ma says she would back Rana Ambrose. Classic swing voter, willing to get behind her. A lot of people would switch for that. Now, if Rana Ambrose is in, count Jean Charest out. But if Ambrose is out, Jean Charest, the former leader of the uh, Progressive Conservative going back to the 1990s, the former Premier of Quebec uh, from 2003 to 2012, could be jumping in the race, even though he's offside his you know, current party on a number of issues, including gun control. It's going to be a fascinating race, and the most fascinating part right now is who is not committed. Stay tuned here, and make sure you drop your comments below. Uh, post this to Facebook, post it to Twitter, and leave a comment down below.